This is DJ Johnny at JDMFM and today I'm back continuing my history of Warrington which is a long one and particularly I'm looking at Latchford. This is the seventh uh, video in the series. Uh, previously I've covered all the way from Bridgefoot all the way through right the way down Nutsford Road and I've ended up at Wash Lane and you can see the uh, Christchurch which is just there in the distance. I'm back here today to continue Wash Lane hadn't finished off last time uh, and we're going to start off by looking at the the railway systems over here I'm going to look at the chippy on the way because uh, the railway came here in the 1850s and uh, I want to have a quick look at where the old stations used to be there was one station low down earlier on which you'll see later and a second station which was up here so we're going to have a look at that as well if I can <laughs> if I can get through uh, and we're also going to have a look at the um, the old uh, lines going down there where I can, the old uh, railway uh, area, the old section of the, the railway line. And we're going to go on to see the, um, the, uh, the Baptist Chapel, which is also down there. We're going to look at, very quickly, at Warrington Town Football Club and then carry on and find out about Acker's Lane and have a quick look at Acker's Pit. Blink an awful lot to cover today, but uh, let's see where we'll go on and uh, let's go and have a look. <laughs> And this is the famous cantilever chippy, or the hut, as some people used to call it, uh, on Wash Lane. And it's been here since 1932, can you believe? It's only like a small hut, but since 1932, this has been here. And it was built by Percy Hill uh, to, to, for his confectionery uh, and tobacconist and newsagent business. But also there was another business next door uh, run by Mrs. Eleanor Cook, and she had a grocery shop. Uh, subsequently, it changed to one business, to the chippy, and this chippy has been a chippy ever since, and it continues to be a flourishing business. Hmm, lovely. So I'm now uh, going to try and find Latchford stations, in particular the second Latchford station. Uh, there was two, and the, uh, we'll have a look at that the first one a bit later on. But the second Latchford station was up there somewhere, and I'm going to try and find my way to see where it used to be. Let's go and have a look. So, I'm just above where the um, where the bridge was before I've walked along and I've found uh, the place here where the uh, the old Latchford station used to be you can still see the lines there's still there's still lines here uh, <laughs> you can't use them anymore and it's full of brambles it's not a very safe area to be really but uh, worth showing you but this is where the second Latchford station used to be and this this station used to come from Warrington in that direction the the line the this, the Warrington Stockport line as it used to be came through all the way through here and up towards the Latchford Viaduct which went over the Manchester Ship Canal further up the road which we're going to see at a later video. So before this station was here there was a first Latchford station uh, Latchford and Grappanall Road uh, station it used to be called and it's actually over there and I'll go and show you that a little bit later on so the first station there it's opened in 1853 now because of the Manchester Ship Canal it was decided that they had to <laughs> they had to cut through this this line somehow so they decided to cut it further up at Latchford Locks and this then became the new high level line which included a brand new uh, station at Latchford. This station uh, was on the line of the old Warrington to Stockport line um, and then became the LNWR later on. Sadly, passenger services stopped in 1962 and the station itself closed in 1965. 
but goods trains continue to use this high level line up and down uh, in particular going to Fiddler's Ferry with coal from the Manchester area uh, it's the same line which you did in a previous video if you remember when it was covering uh, that Bankier area and then all the way through to Wildersburg. it's the same line uh, so that they carry on all the way through but uh, in 1985 the viaduct was deemed unsafe and unviable to repair and so all the trains stopped going so there's been no trains on this line since 1985. Ah. But they did actually build a brand new garden centre in this area, the Cantilever Garden Centre, which was a lovely place to be. Uh, but again, as time went on, things changed, uh, the builders moved in and now there's some uh, luxury flats behind me. Phew, that was quite a challenge getting through there. Now let's go and have a look at where the first station used to be, which is just over there. <laughs> See you in a minute. So I'm just at the site where the old Latchford station used to be, the first Latchford station. Uh, it was here, um, I'm just on Station Road here, the cantilever's up there. Uh, and uh, Latchford Village is just down there. Uh, this is where the station used to be before the Manchester Ship Canal was built. And, um, and then of course, as time moved on, as Lamp Manchester Canal uh, was built, they then had to build a high level line up there, huge embankment over there, and a new station just over there where I had a look at earlier on. This site now is literally uh, the site of luxury flats. Lovely. So I've just come over the road now to uh, where the old station used to be and it's interesting that those apartments are called the old station gardens which is very apt because this is where the old station used to be in 1853 but interestingly it was called Latchford and Grappenall Road station. <coughs> Grappenall Road where's that? Well actually it's on the other side it's over there on the other side of the water and this is Grammar School Road. Well actually this whole road used to be called Grappenhall Road uh, and it's uh, the feature of another video <laughs> just watch this space another DJ Johnny video coming up it was initially called the Latchford and Grappenhall Road station and then it became the Latchford station a little bit later on amazing So just behind me is this post, a fascinating post. You can see it here, this post here. Uh, well, this post is attached to a building which is called the Gatekeeper's Cottage. Now, the fascinating thing about this post is it's the only post that's left from the original Wash Lane crossing, which was literally just here. The other post was on the other side of the road there, and there was big gates that used to cross over the road so the trains could come through from the Warrington Stockport line. Now, of course, this was before the Manchester Ship Canal was built, so there was no issues with crossing any canals at that time. So it just carried on its merry way to Stockport. However, in the 1890s, when the Manchester Ship Canal was, uh, was built, uh, they had to uh, do a diversion for the railway, uh, and they used all the excavated material from the, from the Manchester Ship Canal to build a huge embankment over there where the bridge starts, going up, rising up towards uh, where the Latchford locks are now. The interesting thing is about this post <laughs> behind me is that Richard Jackson, who's the owner of the house and has uh, had a good chat to him, a lovely, lovely man. Uh, he, uh, in 1963 or thereabouts, 
uh, it was outside his property and the contractors were leveling the whole area because this line wasn't needed anymore and uh, what they had to do was take the old posts down the railway lines other bits and pieces and they were, the, were going to knock, knock down that post over there uh, right near his house and he went over to the contractors and said look whoa 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 <laughs> Don't, don't knock that post down, it's in my property, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and they decided to keep it. The, uh, the contractors left him alone and the post remains today. A bit of Blatchford history. So, well done, Richard. From the 1st of June, 1875, a very tragic accident happened. A lady was trying to cross over uh, on Wash Lane, from that side to this side, going down towards a home in Wash Lane. Uh, but the gates were closed. They used to close the gates at six o'clock because the watchman who looked after the level crossings uh, finished at six. However, they did open two small gates, a gate on that side, a gate over here, to allow pedestrians to get through. However, on this, uh, this night, the lady in question uh, crossed over the, the railway, mustn't have seen the, uh, the big train coming towards her, and sadly, she got uh, killed on the, uh, on the level crossing there. Oh, very sad story. Uh, what they, they decided to do, the, the Board of Trade eventually, was to build uh, an iron bridge right the way over this crossing uh, for pedestrians at night. But the locals did not like it one little bit because there's 50 odd steps to, to climb up and down uh, to get over uh, on a very, very quiet crossing. But that's the way it is. And of course, you can see today, it's a very, very busy place. Jeepers creepers. <laughs> So before the Manchester Ship Canal was built uh, and the line continued along there, the old gatekeeper's cottage used to be 30 yards up that way, uh, just on the side. But when the canal was built and they had to build a new high level line over there, over towards the, uh, the uh, canal, uh, they had to remodel the whole area and they built, uh, th and that cottage was, de was demolished. Now the area was still used though for railways, although that line had, this line had effectively been made redundant uh, for passengers the line was still used for the Manchester Ship Canal Railway Company, which was one of the biggest privately owned railway companies in the country in those early days. Jeepers. And this behind me is the home of Warrington Town Football Club, an amateur club. Uh, it's been set up since 1949, where it started off as Stockton Heath Albion, and then they moved, uh, they changed the name in 1961 to Warrington Town Football Club. In 1965, they moved to this site here, which is called uh, Cantilever Park, and they've been here ever since. Uh, doing really quite well, they've even played at Wembley. One of the interesting claims to fame is that Roger Hunt, the late Roger Hunt, uh, used to actually play for this team uh, before he played in the FIFA World Cup squad for England in 1966. So, well done, Roger. This is the Latchford Baptist Church behind me. Uh, the building was built in 1860, but it's got quite an interesting history to, the, to this place because um, it didn't start here. In 1849, uh, there was a group of, um, of uh, worshippers from the Hillcliffe Baptist Church, which broke away from there. They weren't happy with what was going on and decided to move away under the uh, direction of a guy called Joseph Wilkinson. Now he, decided that, the, the, that this group of people could chat and talk amongst themselves in this house in Stockton Heath. And uh, followers grew, more people grew, grew, people kept coming, and eventually they, went, they moved into a converted barn in Stockton Heath. But eventually, in 1860, they built this building behind me, this beautiful building, uh, which was actually originally called the Bethel Baptist Church. Nowadays, it's called the Latchford Baptist Church. Uh, and this was, um, I say, built in 1860. Uh, but the interesting thing is, they, they built this building here because it was on um, Acker's Lane. Uh, Acker's Lane? This is Wash Lane. 
uh, wash lane we're doing wash lane and it's wash lane going all the way up there but no this used to be Acker's Lane before the Manchester Ship Canal was built uh, the Manchester Canal is actually just up there we're going to have a look at that in a few minutes <laughs> they built it here because uh, with the Baptist Church they have to fully immerse their parishioners when they get baptised in water and they decided that just down the road there was Acker's Pit we'll go and have a quick look at that as well <laughs> but um, and that's what they, so they decided this was close to Acker's Pit a place where they could baptise the, uh, the the parishioners and uh, and so that's what they did they built it here uh, unbeknown to them the Manchester Ship Canal was going to come a few years later and it meant that they, they had to cut Acker's Lane off completely and they couldn't have the baptisms over there anymore they'd have to come all the way over the cantilever bridge over there uh, but dearie me but nonetheless this uh, this site is a very historical site and uh, joseph wilkinson became their first pastor and actually there's a memorial here to him just behind me uh, of, uh, of of the guy when he when he died uh, and the good things that he did for the church there's also a sunday school attached to it behind there um, and it was really quite a remarkable building but I'm just sorry for the parishioners who now have to traipse all the way up there to go to Acker's Pit to get baptised. Jeepers creepers! <laughs> So I'm at the end of the new wash lane because of course this used to be uh, Acker's Lane all the way through. Uh, I'm now at the end of wash lane as it is today and of course it, it split, splits because of the, uh, the canal which is way way down below. Um, I'm going to now have a quick look on the other side of the canal. I'm going to go over the cantilever bridge up there, come all the way down and go to the other side. I'm going to have a look at what it's like on the other side and try and find Acker's Pit where they used to do the baptisms for the Latchford Baptist Church. Let's go and have a look. So I've come over the other side of the canal. Uh, earlier I was I was over there um, at the other end of Wash Lane, which used to be uh, Acker's Lane. And of course they had to close it off when the canal was built in the 1890s. They had to um, close that off completely. Acker's Lane used to continue over here all the way through towards Acker's Pit. Um, and of course that's where, that's where it is. <laughs> and so the parishioners from um, the Latchford ba Baptist Church uh, used to be able to walk along the air, across here, across there, through Tracker's Pit. And, uh, but then when the canal was built, they couldn't do that and they had to uh, therefore find other means or cross over the Cantilever Bridge, which is just up there. And this is Acker's Pit. <laughs> this is the place where the uh, parishioners from the, uh, the, the Latchford ba uh, Baptist Church used to walk along there, along um, uh, Acker's Lane, all the way to, to the end. And this is where they would baptise their parishioners who needed baptising. Uh, of course, since the Manchester Ship Canal was there, they couldn't uh, do it after, after 1890. So uh, they decided that they're gonna have to change it. And what they've actually done is they've built their own uh, pool within the church now uh, so people don't need to now come over the cantilever bridge to get baptized and while I'm here it's always it's also worth saying that uh, Acker's Pit is an ancient pit it's on all the old ancient maps and uh, I'm sure there's other story which I can talk about at a later stage uh, but what I should say is there was an old mill here and just up there there's some old millstones let's have a quick look at them So you can see these old millstones just behind, the only small millstones. Uh, I'm not sure whether they're the original ones, but certainly they're, they're old millstones, which must have been around here. 
It's on Mill Lane and quite clearly there was a mill of some description here. You can see by the feature of it. It's a very, very deep pit, an ancient pit. And um, I'll come back another day to talk about the history of this mill and this area. Because this area actually on the other side of the canal uh, is interesting because when the canal was built, the Manship Canal just over there, uh, it actually split Latchford completely. So the other side became Latchford within and this side, the Stockton Heath side, became Latchford without. <laughs> Blink your neck. Anyway, that's a tale for another day. <laughs>right that's as much as i can do today i've covered an awful lot uh of uh, we've we did some work looking at the old stations the uh, the second station which was up over uh, amongst all the brambles up there and i wouldn't recommend anybody to go there uh, but we, nonetheless we had a look at the first station and also the second latchford station uh, we've then had a quick look at the crossings here which used to be here and railways all around where i am now uh, in the olden days uh, the sad tale of the accident which occurred and then we've also had a look at the at Latchford Baptist Church uh, and uh, we've also had a look at uh, Warrington Town Football Club. We've then had a quick look at uh, Acker's Lane, which used to be, and then we've gone across to have a look at Acker's Pit itself. Blink your neck. I cannot believe how much history there is associated with this particular area, never mind Latchford. So um, just watch this space for the next one. Uh, it depends on the weather and it depends on the availability as well. So please bear with me, but uh, I'm hoping to be back as soon as I can. Anyway, meanwhile, this is DJ Johnny at JDMFM and whatever you're doing, hope you have a fabulous time and see you again very soon. Bye.